So some news from Richmond Park today and centre-back Joe Redmond has signed a new long-term contract with the club and I'm here with him now. Joe, congratulations. How does it feel yeah. to have signed a long-term deal? Thanks very much, Jay. Yeah, I'm buzzing to get it done and really looking forward to the rest of the season and the next few years ahead. How has the conversations gone with the club and the contract come about? Yeah, it's been great. It's been very easy speaking with the club and getting it done as, as soon as possible and least now we can just focus on, on playing football. Yeah, I know we spoke to you a couple of weeks ago about how kind of well you've done so far and you've settled really quickly and put in great performance so this is probably a reward for that yeah definitely I feel like it's a it's a weight off my shoulders now going into the into the rest of the season we're not having that worry about new contracts and stuff and uh, obviously I've really enjoyed being here and I'm just looking forward to enjoying it and hopefully I can continue putting in uh, good performances it's really pleasing to get Joe tied down I know there's interest from other clubs and um, he's had a great start to the season uh, which is rewarded by getting a call up for the under 21s in the last window and I think he's probably been our most consistent performer and to get Joe tied down for, for another few years is, is great work for the club. Yeah, he's won Supporters Player of the Month the last two months in a row, being an ever-present. Are you surprised how well he's done so quickly, given he was home from the UK and of course he had the short spell with you at Drogheda as well? No, he's very, uh, he's very mature for his age, uh, 22 years of age and he's, um, he plays the game really well. Um, and getting back into full-time football then, he'd, he'd six months of trotted where he's part-time and it's something that he wasn't used to. Um, and getting back into full-time football again and um, the opportunity to play a Pats and, and being a Pats fan as well. So he loves it here and um, he's going to kick on now hopefully and finish the season really well and then for the next couple of seasons lead the club forward. Yeah, it's a great example as well of, you know, he's come home from England after five years and was probably a little bit disappointed but he's come back and bounced into the League of Ireland really, really well and, and he's clearly happy here and happy with what St. Pat's can offer him in terms of his security and the level of football he's playing at. Yeah, and I think he's he said it there. I think it's probably the happiest he's ever been playing football and you can see that in his performances and again, especially in games like Monday night where he's, you have to defend the box and defend crosses and block shots. Uh, he's been exceptional. and um, No, listen, we're really pleased to get it done and um, we're hoping to we get a lot more of the squad tied down now. and. Um, don't have a repeat of us losing, losing our best players at the end of each season. You've got a great connection with the supporters as well. They, they really love you and they love your, the way you, you wear your heart on your sleeve as well, which is, I'm sure it's nice. Yeah, definitely. That's the way I play. I try to, to give 100% every game and obviously I've been rewarded by the supporters, but now I'm going to continue with that way. Yeah, player of the month for the last couple of months as well. Um, in terms of yourself, like you're 22 and you signed a one year at the start of the season, you'd come home from England, you'd been at Drada for a while. so. It was a little bit going for Birmingham to draw it at the Pats on a one year. Now you have that security. Do you feel that will actually help your performances knowing that you're settled and you're here for the long term? Yeah, definitely. That um, bit of security, as I said, is great. It's a weight off the shoulders and you can just focus on playing and then you just have to keep working the same as you do whether you have a contract or not, but you just have to keep giving 100%.